Good morning, children. Welcome back to Maths class. And today we are going to start new chapter, chapter six, footprint. So let us start. I will show you some object. Okay, and tell me the shape name. Now, can you see this watch? What is the shape of this watch? Yes, it is a square. Very good. Now, let us see the next one. Now, this thing. This is very small, but I think you can see this one. This is also what? Yes, this is also square shape. Very good. Now next, now see this copy. What is the shape of this copy? I am holding it. Yes, it is looking like a rectangle. Very good. And this one? Yes, it looks like a what? It is also rectangle. Very good. Now the next. Can you tell me what is the shape of this object? Yes, it look like a triangle. Very good. Now the next object. Yes, now it is clearly you can understand that it is a triangle. The shape of this bangle? Yes. Tell me. Circle. Very good. Now let us see the next object. Yes, it is also circle. Very good. So, in chapter 6, footprint, I have shown you some shapes. So, how to draw the shape with the lines which we have done in chapter 11. Lines and lines. What type of lines? Like first we have done one standing line. Next, what we have learned? One sleeping line. Then slanting line like this or like this and the next curve standing line sleeping line slanting line or curve line so with this all the line today we are going to draw some shapes and learn about their properties okay shapes shapes okay now what is the first shape we have seen see we have seen one square and we will write the shape name what is the shape name square s q u a r E. Square. Okay. Now can you tell me the properties? Square properties. First property. What is the first property? First property is it has four sides and four corners and you know other name is sometimes we can see vertices so which thing we call side and which thing, which side which thing we call corner in this shape so, this is 
like this one, this one, and this one, and this one is a side. What we call this one? Side. Okay, and this is what? Like one, two, three, four. These are all how many corners? Four corners. And one, two, three, four. Four sides. Okay. Now the next property of square. Yes. Can you see all the four sides are equal? So the next property we are going to write all sides are equal. Okay, now number two. Number two is rectangle. We are going to draw one rectangle. Okay, so first write the shape name here. Rectangle R E C T A N G L E. Rectangle. Now, can you tell me the first property? First property is how many sides like square? One, two, three, four. And how many corners? One, two, three, four. So, if like this, we are going to write it here also. It has four sides and four corners and now I am not going to write vertices because here I have written the vertices. Now the next property here all the four sides are equal but here opposite sides are equal like this one and this one and this one this one okay so next property will be opposite sides are equal next property is opposite sides are equal Okay, number three, triangle. Triangle is how many sides? Can you tell me? One, two and three. Triangle has three sides. So first write the spelling. T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E. Triangle. Now let us write the property. What is the property? It has how many sides? It has three sides and three corners. Let us count. One, two, three. Three sides and this is corner where the two line segments are joining okay so one two three three corners now number four next shape we are going to draw is circle so let us draw circle so first write the shape name c i r c l e circle now what is the property can you see any sides like this with the line? No. And can you see any corner? No. Because if no line is there, so how we will find out the corner? So, circle has zero sides and zero corner we can write. So, what is the property? That it has zero sides and 
zero corners okay now, now let's a recap square first shape it has four sides and four corner one two three four sides and four corner one two three four four corner next all sides are equal all four sides are equal now number two about rectangle it has also four sides and four corners and opposite sides are equal okay recap triangle it has three sides and three corners circle it has no sides means zero side and zero corner or we can say no corner okay now it's a time to know the homework write down all the class work in your maths copy and write to example of each shape like i have shown you in videos hope all understood the topic so that's all for today's class see you soon bye bye